I was just wondering whether it was a kind of challenge remaining faithful to the tone of the, the Peanuts franchise and at the same time creating something new, something unique for a kind of new generation to indulge in. Well, you know, you hit it right on the head. As I started working on the movie, I thought there, was, there were two things. One, <clears throat> you want to honor the legacy of the work that Charles Schultz has created. That means staying true to the tone and the spirit of what Peanuts has always been. But we're meeting an audience in 2015 and we're painting on a very big canvas. A feature film and a motion picture, well, and a cinema today, you know, that's a big screen. And so let's use it. Let's make that a rich experience. And I thought using the paintbrush that we use, which is computer animation, we could create, well, we could give Snoopy fur and we could make the world feel more real and, and ask the audience to kind of walk into that world and live in it for 80 minutes as these characters go through the story that they're involved with. And so that's how we put it together. But of course, what we had to pay very close attention to was making certain that we got our poses correct and that the characters... Just like this one. Yeah. Just like yeah. that, that Snoopy would look like yeah. that <laughs> and not look like some foreign you know, character. Because, yeah. I mean, you obviously mentioned that you were a huge fan of this growing up, like we all were. Yeah. Um, but was it a challenge to sort of separate the fan from the filmmaker, or did you not need to? Did the two sort of complement the other? Well, I think I wanted to pay attention to both. Ha working in animation and working in feature films, um, you don't want to assume that everybody knows who your characters are. So good storytelling, uh, you know, means that you help introduce their wonderful qualities. For fans, I think it's just fun. It's like going back and, you know, having a fond memory of these characters. When you see Pigpen show up with his dust, it's like, oh yeah, I remember. And for a new audience, it's an introduction so that they're understanding what the world is and who these characters are. And so as the story unfolds, that they understand, that we don't walk into a movie assuming that people know all the details. Um, but that's just the art of storytelling. And I was wondering as well, I mean, in regards to, to Charlie Brown, he, he's, this mo he's got this kind of infectious optimism and this kind of blissful outlook on life. When you're doing an animation, it must be a really arduous sort of process. Was it, did it make it easier to kind of to progress through it when you're dealing with a character who never gives up? I yeah, I will tell you, my favorite character growing up was Snoopy. But working on this movie, Charlie Brown has become my favorite, mostly because of that very fact. Uh, as we're working on the film, there are times where something doesn't work out. We go home at night like, oh, we thought that was going to be the solution, and it wasn't. It's kind of like getting your kite tangled in the tree mm -hmm. or missing the football. And I would get up the next morning and say, no, we're working on Charlie Brown and Peanuts. we got to be like Charlie Brown. Today's the day we're going to solve that problem. And so he gave me a big dose of positive attitude on the film. And having just obviously uh, drawn with you today, I mean, there's something very beautiful about this and natural about drawing sort of animation like this. But obviously this is a computer animation. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering what the decision was to, to go, down, go down that path in the end. Well, I th for me, I thought there were some things that we would get uh, from computer animation, in particular lighting and mood. And, and, and even as like characters would walk through the snow, the sense that that snow is really there, that would make the world feel like it's more alive, a little more real. But... The other thing that I wrestled with from day one is that I look at Charles Schultz's videotape of him drawing those characters, and that pen line is beautiful. And so the other mantra that I passed on to my team is that I want to find his pen line in everything we do. And so the design of the characters, you see that Charlie Brown has that little wiggle pen line of a smile with the little ink droplets on the corners. Uh, so stylistically, we tried to showcase that handmade quality that Charles Schultz put into his drawings. So just finally, very quickly, I, was, I saw the movie this morning, I absolutely loved it. And I was sort of surrounded by parents and, and their children, and everyone was kind of enjoying it. I was wondering what gives you more gratification, the, the, the sound of a child's laugh or, or hearing the parents chuckle? I tell you, it's seeing both of them sit in an audience and get enjoyment out of what we've made. Uh, in the process of making the movie for the three years, often <clears throat> that you can overlook that fact. You know, we're trying to figure out how to make Snoopy pose like this. And, uh, you know, you're worried, you're worried about the technical challenges and the details. And to me, the great reminder is to walk into a theater and see a family sitting there and knowing that they've paid their money and they're going to enjoy something together. And it's a memory that they get to take and share beyond the film. Maybe there's something in the story that they actually talk about after. Uh, so to me, it's both. It's seeing the, you know, 
both uh, enjoy it. And sometimes for different reasons, laughs that pop up where adults are all laughing because it's something that Lucy might have said that might go right over the heads yeah. of a kid. And then, of course, Snoopy, with all of his fun, gets everybody laughing. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today and for teaching me how to draw. I feel like I've accomplished a lot today. Very good. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm going to have to so take much. this pose back. I maybe ought to take a snapshot of it yeah. so I take it back to our animators. That's a good idea. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much yeah. for that. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!